handy bandy, just a few pointers from your lesson the other day. Uh, just first of all, your setup. So, um, and I think I pointed this out to you before we even had the lesson. So, just watch your feet up a little bit open, pointing to the left, and then I think the ball's way too far forward in your stance because I think your shoulders are pointing left as well. Uh, if you can see over here, I can see the top of Ernie's left left arm over there. I can't see the top of your arm, so. Uh, the, the ball's a little too far forward in the stance, so you'll be able to see it easier from the front view as well, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, just from the back view, just a couple of pointers. Um, also, I think you're stretching for the ball. You need to just be a little bit closer. I think your hands need to be a little bit more here, a little bit more under your mouth and not under your the front of your cap. Okay, and then if we take it back, again, maybe you'll see it better from the front. But your lower body is not moving properly on the takeaway. I, I think I'll show you from the front, okay? Um, but you can also see your knees are pointing left. So by the time your club gets here, your left knee is now in front of your right knee. So it means you've turned over there, huh? um, which isn't great. You want to turn at the end of the backswing. And then what I just see is I see your head moving, moving forward to finish the swing. So you've kind of got the things wrong way around here, here where you should be just moving straight back, you're turning to get your weight into your heel, and then when you finish your backswing, your weight goes in your in your head, you want it the other way around, you want the weight to, to go to the right hand side, and then here, can you see at the top of the backswing, the weight's nicely here in Ernie's heel. Alright, then if we look at you from the front, it'll maybe be a little bit clearer to you. Okay, so from the front you can definitely also see that the uh, setup is a little bit different here. Okay, so the ball, if Tiger's ball's position is here, it's just front of the middle, and yours is way outside your, it's almost on your on your little toe, okay, of your of your left foot. So that's making your shoulders point left, and then I can see probably here your feet are also pointing a little bit left, which isn't great for rotation. So your feet are left, your hips are left, your shoulders are left, and the ball's too far forward in your stance, and maybe you're stretching there again. Can you see that where his tiger's arms are a little bit more um, athletic, a little more relaxed? Okay, so what we want to do, the first bit of the backswing, is get the arms away from the body and shift the weight into the right-hand side. So there's really no turning happening here. It's all a shift or a right load. Okay. And what we've got going with you a little bit is we've got that turn. Can you see? So your hips are turning on the backswing. All right, so now you're a little bit out of sync there. Okay, you, you've, you've kind of finished the turn, but you haven't finished your backswing. So that's when your head starts moving forward. So a couple of pointers from this side. At, if you can see at the top of the backswing here, Okay, there's a big difference between the angle of your back and the angle of Tiger's back here. Okay, so I showed you that drill to do in the mirror. Alright, very, very important drill to do. Move the weight into your right side and then try and show me your right shoulder blade or try and see that the, try and see your right shoulder blade in the mirror. Okay, so again, you're not right loading. You're collapsing there, okay, and then your hands are just kind of moving up, so you're not turning, and your head's moving forward, so this is completely different. So go and try and work in the, in the mirror so that you can get this kind of look to your back. I'll take those lines away again so you can see that back angle. Okay, and you can see that you're not quite the same there. That should make your downswing a lot better. You've got a little bit of a jump, big jump going through there. Okay, but all of that is a result of that backswing in the back not work, working properly when, you, when you're swinging back. So if you work on your backswing, your downswing will improve. Very nice finish though, Luke Bunzi, looking great there.